All right, so over the deafening roar of Cicada Plague 2021, we're going to talk about the Thule Bike Basket. This doesn't have some cheeky name that they give some of the other products. So this is just their hard shell bike basket. And uh, let me just talk briefly why I picked this, because there are not a lot of options when it comes to a hard shell bike basket. There's a bunch of those wire baskets that you can get on Amazon for 20 bucks that zip tie onto a back rack. But I wanted something that could easily be taken on and off. And I didn't want to go saddlebags because I wanted the ability to just be able to drop a backpack and a hydro flask in there onto a hard surface and just go. I didn't want to mess with saddlebags. And this was really the only thing that fit that bill. Um, so the pros are, it's the only thing that fits that bill that I could find. And it is reasonably well made. There is a lot of flex to these side pieces, but the rails are, are pretty solid. Uh, and it is lightweight. That's probably why they skimped on the, on the, um, the side pieces like that. But, uh, and they have this great bracket system. They've got, they're essentially clamps. Come on, focus in on that. Yeah, there's, there's, uh, four clamps. And, let me pull this stuff out of here and we'll take a look. And then they have this really genius system here where you've got these slots so that you can make this work with just about any rack and you position the uh the clamps where you need them to be slide them into place and then just use an allen key to to tighten them and this is super solid like there is no give on that i've only been out for about uh 10 miles on pretty even terrain nothing too serious but nothing has loosened up um so it's a really genius system and you can take this on and off in like a minute or two. So it's no big deal to take it on and off. Some of the cons with this are that this does seem super fragile. These, the side, the side grills. Um, it would not take much, I think, to, to break those. Uh, also, this thing is $100, $100 for a plastic basket. It's crazy. But like I said at the start of this video, I can't find anything else that does this. Um, you can find it on sale for 80, 70, but uh, yeah, you're paying for that Thule name. Um, I'm actually really amazed that a certain country hasn't ripped this off because I don't know if there's anything necessarily proprietary about this. I didn't check to see if they have any patents. Perhaps this slot system they might get a patent for. I don't know. But um, yeah, it's, it's kind of up to you. Like, if you want something specifically like this, I don't know what else you can find. Uh, but it, you pay a, a steep price for a plastic basket with some clever engineering.